Lavrenti Beria came to power in the Soviet Union by rising through the ranks of the secret police and the Communist Party bureaucracy. Beria was a highly skilled and ambitious politician who was able to navigate the complex and often treacherous political landscape of the Soviet Union under Joseph Stalin. Beria began his career as a low-level functionary in the secret police but quickly rose through the ranks. He was appointed head of the NKVD in 1938 and played a key role in Stalin's purges of the Communist Party and the government. Beria's role in the purges helped him to gain Stalin's trust and to establish himself as a powerful figure. After World War II, Beria was appointed Minister of Internal Affairs and continued to build his power base. He was also appointed as a member of the Communist Party's Politburo, which was the highest decision-making body in the Soviet Union. Beria's position in the Politburo gave him significant influence over the Soviet government and helped him to further consolidate his power. When Stalin died in 1953, Beria was one of the most powerful figures in the Soviet Union and was considered a potential successor to Stalin. Beria was known for committing a wide range of crimes during his career. Repression and mass killings in Stalin's purges, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people. He was also responsible for ordering the execution or imprisonment of many political opponents and perceived enemies of the state. Beria oversaw the forced deportation of entire nationalities, including the Crimean Tatars, Chechens, and Ingush, from their native regions to other parts of the Soviet Union. Many of these deportees died as a result of the harsh conditions of their forced relocation. Beria is known for his brutal tactics in maintaining control and suppressing dissent, including the widespread use of torture, forced labor, and execution. Beria was also known for his corruption and abuse of power. He reportedly used his position to amass wealth and property for himself and his family. It's important to note that Beria's crimes were not limited to the time he was in charge of the NKVD, but it also included his actions as a member of the Politburo, where he continued to suppress opposition and dissent. Beria's crimes were well known to the Soviet public and government, but he was never held accountable for these crimes during his lifetime. However, Beria's reign did come to an end, as he was arrested and executed shortly after the death of Stalin in 1953. The exact reason for his arrest and execution is not entirely clear, but it was likely the result of a power struggle among the Soviet leadership following Stalin's death. Beria was one of the most powerful figures in the Soviet Union at the time of Stalin's death and was seen as a potential successor to Stalin. His significant role in Stalin's purges and repression had earned him many enemies within the Communist Party and the Soviet government. It's likely that other members of the Politburo and government saw Beria as a potential threat to their own power, and they used Stalin's death as an opportunity to move against him. There were also rumors that Beria had plans of his own to take over the Soviet leadership, which would have been seen as a major threat by the other members of the Politburo. Additionally, Beria was known for his corruption and abuse of power, he had a lot of enemies, and a lot of people who wanted to see him gone. Beria was arrested on June 26, 1953, he was charged with a variety of crimes, including treason, espionage, and counter-revolutionary activities. He was then executed on December 23, 1953. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.